Alan! 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 Al! Alan! 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 Welcome to day 20 of the July Calendar Club 496 Challenge. So another bad uh, run on the way home yesterday. More hamstring problems. So who knows what today is going to bring. I'm about to start the watch. Let's give it a go. As usual, everything's stiff and achy to start with. So uh, I'll do a, an update in about a mile, let you know how things are going. Okay then, so just over a mile done. As expected, very slow and achy this morning. It's taken a bit longer than usual to loosen up. Um, last night when I was laying in bed, uh, crap night sleep again, uh, I had loads of joint, ankle, knee, throbbing, inflammation, bit of discomfort. And I've noticed that on this run, um, right heel flared up quite nastily, first half a mile, but everything else has been just dull, achy, throbbing, discomfort in the bones shin bone, ankles, knees, all the bones and joints really, not muscles. So uh, obviously that's a result of the constant pounding for the last 20 days. But no hamstring, so that is a plus. So my concern is, I'll knock out this morning's run relatively comfortable but then I'm going to have a torrid run later on this afternoon 10 miles with a dodgy hamstring that's my concern so I was thinking about it last night is it just fatigue or am I doing something different and I noticed the last two days the evening run has been about 20 to 30 seconds per mile quicker than the morning run so this afternoon I'm going to make a conscious effort to run a lot slower and hopefully I'm not putting extra strain on the hamstring. It's worth a shot. You've got to try everything at this stage. Well, no update for a while. Uh, part of the river loop, I met up with a guy called Kieran. Um, quite often see him at Parkrun, and we basically did the river loop in there, uh, pitch off together. So, uh, I'll tell you what, it's so much better when you've got somebody to chat to. Miles seem to fly by a bit quicker than I'd like to go, but uh, was feeling good. But the hammy is twitching ever so slightly. So, uh, more fool me for knocking out the nine minute mile pace. <laughs> However, just over a mile to go. Accidentally ran extra then. <laughs> I didn't, uh, didn't hear the, the watch vibrate and I did an extra 0.5, uh, 0 0.5, not obviously half a mile. Okay, so first half, day 20 done. I've had a few tweaks towards the end of that run, but I think that's because I was just running way too fast this morning after everything I said about running slower. Kieran, that's your fault. Um, quite significant. My uh, day 20, 20 miles. That last mile was the 200th mile of the challenge. So 20 days in, 200 miles. Obviously I've got 11.5 days left of this challenge including this afternoon's run, uh, to do another 300, well, 296, but I've put four in the bag already from day one. So, uh, 
quite significant really because when I started this challenge I did genuinely have really bad calf issues which have got better but they're still there um, in the first couple of days I honestly thought I'm not going to get to 20 um, there's no way I can do this mileage ramp it up day after day with the niggles and issues that I had in those first four days I just thought it was impossible so I'm at day 20 only halfway through um, but I will get this done one way or the other this day and then hopefully every day after that is one day closer to the finish so I'll see you this afternoon day 20 part 2 10 miles to do this evening and I'm not looking forward to this be prepared for my hourly update but let's start the watch okay so actually shy of two miles just shy of two miles um, still way too fast I'm trying trying to slow down but um just can't do it <laughs> uh, no, not that I'd say this pace is particularly fast but in light of what's been happening I just can't slow this pace down so uh, yeah let's see what happens so I've just completed five miles halfway through this afternoon's mileage so far so good but I'm now at the point, the last two evenings, where things have started to go wrong and I've started to get the bad hamstring twinges. So really any time in the next two miles is when I would expect something to potentially flare up. However, the pace is under control. It is a lot slower than I have done the previous two nights. So if I can just maintain that, hopefully, I won't aggravate anything, fingers crossed. Okay, I'm inside the last two miles. Uh, nothing major has occurred so far. A few uh, twinges in some odd places. Um, nothing to worry about though. Hopefully I can get this one ticked off. Okay, 10 miles done. That's it. Day 20 done. <sighs> Thank f*** for that. Oh, what can I say? Hamstring, didn't really feel anything at all. But I did have twinges in other areas. Uh, right glute, it's really pinging. Uh, and the right heel, bloody hell, it's like someone's sticking pins into the side of my heel certainly doesn't feel good um so that's been on and off for a couple of days but that was quite bad that last mile but i am glad that is done i'm glad that's out of the way that's day 20 done it's 210 miles done so tomorrow july 21st 21 miles 10 same route as uh, this morning uh, in, and then in the afternoon I've got to do 11 um, it'll probably be the same route as the morning but with a, another mile added on but uh, hopefully that's the last early double out the way tomorrow and then I can start uh, doing things on my terms then I'll see you tomorrow good day today